People quit all the time because they're doing it for the money. There's a debate right now going on Twitter of like, how many years do you have to work until the hard work, until the thing? This guy's like, Gary Vee, you said you hustled your face off for 10 years. He's like, I only had to do it for two years. I couldn't imagine doing it for 10. And I'm laughing at him. And another guy jumps in and goes, well, Gary said it best. Eat shit for blank years and eat caviar for the rest of your life. Like, are you enjoying it? Like, is this fun? I'm sure he's a lovely dude. Is this fun <laughs> that you're filming this? Or are you doing it because you think it's gonna get you to the next level of success? Do you love your process? The gateway to happiness is to love your process, whatever that may be, whether that creates wealth or doesn't, if that creates legacy and art or it doesn't, uh, that creates impact on the world or it doesn't. You're clearly driven. Like, you know, first you wanted to be in the NBA, then yeah, you wanted right? to be in the B- <laughs> then you wanted to be in the PBA, then you wanted to act. Like I think, I think the thing that you need to understand is that you've got a gear of motivation that makes you do. The first two things in sports didn't work out. The thing that worked out in acting, it did work out. Whatever the definition of what you're trying to figure out right now, it may or may not work. What I'm excited about is the fact that you've got a gear that makes you want to do. And I think one of the biggest problems right now, especially for people under 30 who want to be influencers or entrepreneurs, which is almost everybody, there's a lot of vanity metrics that they're trying to achieve to that mean nothing. I raised $50 million, so you might go out of business. I've got a million subscribers, so I've got 10 million subscribers, so I think, I think right now in a, we live in a world that has so much data that people are living towards the numbers. How many likes, how many followers, yeah, yeah, yeah. how much capital I've raised. It, it's a, it becomes a numbers rack race and it usually leads to bad behavior because when you're chasing a number that people can see, you often take shortcuts. For me, the shit is the caviar. Like I love the fucking process. I love building. A very big reason acting probably worked out was you both thought it could bring you something you were looking for from a level of attention and success and fame and dollars, but you also liked it. Because otherwise if you didn't like it, you would have quit after the third no at additions. (laughs) When you do something for money, you quit. When you do it because you love it, you do it forever. People win when they're self-aware. Some want to make their bed, some don't. Some have this strength, some have that weakness. You need to figure out who you are and you need to execute against that. You have to love the process, not the stuff that the process buys you. People quit all the time because they're doing it for the money. I think the bigger question is, what do you want the money for? Is it blocking an insecurity? Is it to get the girl? Is it is it is because you're trying to mass as much as you can because you don't actually don't like working and you want to live? It? The reason so many people fail in life and business is their model is let me get the money so that I can enjoy and relax. They think of it as like hoarding it and then eating it all over time. So I retirement and all this. It's such a bad way to. Th- because then you're feeling the pressure of like massing so that you can then enjoy. I think the bigger question is like, what are you up to? Like, why are you doing it? Like, what's up? I just think a lot of people are trying to achieve success and and use fame or money as makeup for uh, a situation that they're just not happy about. Like, you have to figure out how to make your day in and day out happy. It's all an inside game. You need to be enjoying the amassing so much that you never get to the enjoying part. Otherwise you're gonna be impatient and try to be out of it as quickly as possible to buy those things. Or you're gonna regret it later in life, right? Like I will never retire. Cause it's not as fun as working. Like it's not as fun. Like it's very, it's not as fun for me to lay on the beach and play golf all day and, and, and lay on a yacht in the middle of the Mediterranean for 100 days in the summer and go to vineyards and go to concerts and, and see friends. That's not as fun as fucking 15 hours of meetings all day. I don't wanna lay in a swan in a pool. I don't want to. That is what people have to figure out. Whether that's singing or being a mother or teaching a classroom, to me the game matters. And by the way, somebody may be looking and being like, Gary looks like shit, 4 a.m., six flights in Asia, and I'm sitting here in Ibiza. And for her or him, that's winning, and that's great. You've gotta try and figure that out at all costs, and if you're not happy right now, you need to do something different. I just, I just don't understand how people think wealth is the gateway to happiness. The gateway to happiness is to love your process, whatever that may be, whether that creates wealth or doesn't, if that creates legacy and art or doesn't, uh, that creates impact on the world or it doesn't. You've gotta, you've gotta try.
try and figure that out at all costs. And if you're not happy right now, you need to do something different. You just have to, if you are not happy right now, you have to break your patterns. You have to look at life from a different perspective. You have to find a different angle to look at it from. Um, because this shit goes fast even though it's long. Figure out what your fucking winning is. My winning is different than a lot of people's. I don't get envy, I get excited, I get competitive, I enjoy it, I enjoy my thing. What's your thing that makes you the happiest? And just focus there. (laughs) Only there.